text is from the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 7, 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it will be opened unto you. Jesus will answer our prayers. <coughs> Let me tell you what happened. It happened a long time ago, about two years. About four, two years ago, three, six now. Anyway, it seems a long time ago, and it happened in a place far away in Tennessee. And you can look that up on the map sometimes if you're home with your parents, but it's far away in Tennessee. And Tennessee, unlike Florida, has mountains, but like Florida, also has rivers. And our daughter was visiting with her husband and our two grandchildren, Haley and Charlie, and they decided to go on a boat ride. The weather was nice and sunny like it is today. Just a beautiful warm day. And they went out on the boat and they swam and they got pulled behind by a uh, inner tube and they had lots of fun. I had to get work, but so I couldn't enjoy it. Well, when they came back to the dock, my daughter said that she would go, she got out of the boat and would go to get the car. But she needed the keys. So, my wife Colleen handed her the keys. But instead of dropping on the boat or dropping on the dock, they dropped between the boat and dock and went down 5 feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet into the mud. They were lost. They were lost, but my wife knew right where they were. They were down. Well, fortunately, she had a cell phone, and I just got home from work. So I came with the other car, and we picked them up, and we prayed to Jesus, will you help us get our keys? So I came up with a good idea. I had at home a fishing hook that actually had three hooks together. Now, I didn't bring it because it's pretty sharp. So we'll just have to pretend that this has a fishing hook on the end. And I put a weight. And so, a good idea, the fishing hook on the end. I went down and I dragged the hook back. And I dragged the hook back 20 feet down. Kept dragging it back and forth. Could pull it up, but no keys. So that night, it got dark, so I stopped, and that night, we prayed again, and the next morning prayed, and I went to work, and my wife talked to the next door neighbor, and she said, well, my husband may be able to help. So that afternoon, he came, had his swimming trunks on, and he dove down, five feet, ten feet, uh, then he had to come up for air. So he took a bigger breath. And dove again, 5 feet, 10 feet, 15 feet. Couldn't make it. Had to come up from here. Try the third time. <coughs> Just couldn't make it. He said, you're going to need a scuba diver. But we didn't know any scuba divers. So we prayed again that night, the next morning, the next day. We needed the keys. Uh, one of the keys on it came from a car that you could only get the keys from. It's from Germany and cost a lot. So we really need to get those keys. Well, the following day, my wife went to a church ladies' social meeting at lunch. And our church here has those type of meetings uh, at lunch. And they were together talking, and they asked, is there anybody who's prayer for anything? And one of them was my wife. She says, yes, pray that we can find our keys. And we're not finding, we get our keys. Toward the end of the meeting, my lady Linda came up to my wife and said, I think my husband could help. Well, my wife thought immediately he was a scuba diver. No, he wasn't a scuba diver. But he liked to solve things. So she said, I'll talk to him and we'll see. So we prayed again that night, the next morning. And that afternoon she called and she said, my husband has an idea. I think he might be able to help. Okay. So he came and he brought with him a piece of metal. 
but it's a special piece of metal. It was a magnet. Magnets can hook on, hold on to things. So he dropped the magnet in, down five feet, down ten feet, down, 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 twenty feet, and let's see. And he pulled the magnet up on the first time, and it came up the water, and there it is. So Jesus had answered our prayer. Even though we didn't have a scuba diver, he found that someone that knew what to do. And so we can always thank Jesus. And let's pray again. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you answer our prayers and that you are always with us. Amen. Amen. Amen.